Hello friends, welcome to Let's Play Close Combat The Longest Day. It is the 5th of June 2013 and what better day to, s to start this new Let's Play um, as the initial stages of D-Day um, took place on the 5th of June 1944 with the Allied landings in uh, the, uh, in the uh, small villages um, along the Normandy coast, 82nd Airborne and 101st Airborne units landed in total secrecy behind enemy lines, ready to crush the Nazi war machine still present there at behind the Atlantic Wall. Uh, in preparation for the great landings of, uh, amongst others, the 29th Infantry Division on Omaha Beach. So. I am going to record this game. I am not sure if my recording window is in the proper place. I'm just going to move it a tidbit. There we go. This looks good. Just a little up as well. There we go. So there might be a little bit of lining out on the outside, but that's fine. Let's play the game, shall we? There we go. Um, seriously hope that... Um, yep, sound sounds good. I've got sound, so that's good. Right, so we're gonna go for line difficulty. I had, I think, elite difficulty in my previous Let's Play, uh, but I have a feeling that the AI cheats a lot. So <laughs> I'm gonna just set the realism settings um, on um, whatever it is default. There we go. The time expiration will be 15 minutes, and the battle ends uh, eh, when a force morale gets too low. Why not? Turn that on. There we go. And after taking all victory locations. Two minute warning sounds just fine by me. Okay, so let's have a look at the battles. We've got uh, several battles here. Uh, I could go for an entire operation or a campaign. Uh, though campaign do campaigns do tend to take a long time in this game. Let's have a look at the operations. I don't want to do a single battle. Okay, so we could do the landings of the 101st or 82nd Airborne. The Battle for Carentan, the famous battle between the 101st Airborne and the Felsheim Jaeger Regiment 6. Or the British Airborne land landings. M people tend to forget that the uh, Brits also had Airborne landings uh, uh, before and during D-Day uh, with uh, regards to parachute droppings. Uh, Perry and Riposte, which is the uh, 21, 21st sorry, Panzer Division counterattack, um, says Insigny, or sees Insigny, it's probably not all French, <laughs> the 29th Infantry Division off Omaha Beach, and through to Bayeux, the uh, 50th Division of the Brits attacking, uh, trying to punch through to Bayeux. Okay, so, I think it would be interesting to go for a campaign. The drive for Cherbourg, uh, Objective Khan, or the Saint Lo, or the Longest Day, the Grand Campaign. We'll go for this. We're gonna go for a Grand pa Campaign. I'm gonna give you guys a full series as far as I can. Hopefully my hard drive won't poop itself. Uh, but we're gonna do this. Let's go. Ah, we need to game name the game. Uh, longest Day uh, let's play. Uh, you can't probably can't see this unless you can, and then you probably see this. <laughs> let's play longest day. Yay! <laughs> Super. All right, commander. If you control the town, you control the area. The tall buildings of the town provide you a commanding view of the immediate countryside. So be careful. In one word, wow. Well, as you go, use the cover of night to your advantage and move cautiously. Move into town on a row of buildings. Take advantage of the cover they provide. The move building by building and drive the defenders out. It's probably supposed to read then move building by building and drive the defenders out. Good luck. Okie dokie. Let's have a look. Okay, so we're at Utah Beach and Omaha Beach, or slightly north of Omaha Beach. And we've got um, the um, 507th and 508. Uh, here and the 505, 502nd, 501st and 506, that makes sense. And we've got, uh, uh, let's see, we've got an infantry division, 
probably um, the mixed divisions of Germans, including some Eastern European um, units. Yeah, there they are, the 795th Ost Division, which basically is a, um, a well, a gathering of of, of uh, Nazi sympathizers, forced laborers, uh, f well, a bit of everything from uh, the Eastern Front. Um, so yeah, we'll be facing those. They won't be too difficult, although they can be quite fanatic. We've also got the uh, okay Lafayette Causeway with the a couple of infantry units there. That's 82nd Airborne. And down here, way down here, we've got uh, okay. Let's see the fifth Para Brigade, which is probably British as far as I can see, versus another. Ost units mixed with others, and that's my phone. And that's probably Bucket Smith. I'm just gonna check for a moment. Oh, nope, never mind. Uh, okay, and okay, I don't know what WN is. I'm gonna have to look that up. <laughs> uh, Widerstand's nest, probably, uh, which is basically a set of bunkers. So, yeah versus the third parallel brigade. Right, let's uh let's see what we get. Uh we've pretty much landed in the clear with these guys, so that's super. I guess I'm gonna move these guys. These these are the only ones not in battle. Um no wait, there's another unit not in battle, but still I'm gonna move them towards the supply points and try to cut Germans right off there we go so that's where we're gonna go with this one and let's see mm, what's this Brevence. yes 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 what what else is here what do we know can, I, can we move to a place where there is no we can't no supply possibility but there is a little bit of a harbor here so we might wanna sort of head that way and uh, see to it that we uh, secure that flank so we're gonna ex execute that there we go and we find Fallschirmjäger, yes, the 6th Fallschirmjäger Regiment. Okay, so, and here we also encountered somebody. And the 91st Infantry Division, 100, uh, 1058th Regiment of the Germans. This should be interesting. <laughs> Alright, well, let's uh, take our first battle, which is going to be down here. Wow, okay, awesome. Uh, near Utah Beach. We will be facing the 919th Regiment, 709th Infantry Division, a mixed unit again. Uh, I think it's no, it's actually a, it's not a mixed unit. It's a, it's an actual regular unit. It looks like, um, yeah, it is. If, and we have our 502nd, 101st Airborne. So we're gonna get right into that right now. They seem to have. Let's see. Park guns, Panzerschreck, Grenadier, Panzerschreck. Okay. Alright. Okie dokie. Let's get in there, boys. We've dropped at on the 5th of uh, June. Uh, let's see, we're not going to need this, so I'm just going to remove that. We're not going to need this. We're not going to need this, definitely not. We'll have some extra rifle teams to fill that out. There we go. And uh, it should uh, give us some advantage. 30 caliber machine gun, only one, really. How many 30 cals do we have? Four. Mm. No. No, I'll go for this. Just one. Just one base of fire. It's okay. The Allies attack. Now my sound may be a little bit down, so I might want to at some point change that. Right, we're going into the unit deployment mode. If you've seen any of my series, you know what kind of deployment mode uh, things I do. And how horribly I abuse certain things. There's a little bit of a crossroad here, that's awesome. Uh, I'm going to make sure that my guys are going to be just right there. Um, Alright, on ambush. I want to ambush first. It's a platoon headquarters on ambush. Could you just move down to these bushes? Thanks. Okay. Another rifle team. 
who are going to have a look down here if they can. They can't. Okay, hold on. Platoon headquarters will move back to the house. Rifle team, you will move to the utmost um, edge there. There we go. You're going to have the uh, ability to attack those crossroads. Alright, any of my guys here ready to rock and roll? I don't know. Okay, so the the road to St. Mary Glees is right across this field. The problem is exactly that field. Field means open field of fire. Basically putting me in a position I do not want to have at all. Alright, I think this is my 30 caliber machine gun. Yeah, thought as much. Okay, but that's fine. That is perfectly fine. Another rifle team here. There we go. Put them on ambush. They'll be basically hanging out together. Waiting for the enemy to make a move. I'm going to put you guys over here. Oh, there's another two headquarters there already. Okay, well in that case, you're going to go up here. There we go. Engineer teams. Okay, we not, might not need you at this point. We need you though. Okay, are they... I have no idea. Okay, um, that's fine. Put you guys in the middle here. On ambush. On ambush. We'll put everyone on ambush. This is a machine gun team. And a mortar team. Right there. I don't like the fact that you're right there. Put you down here. There we go. That's probably safer. Okay, so we've got some troops in the in the tree line there. We we have cover of darkness, which is gonna be the main advantage in this uh, particular situation. So hopefully we'll have some success. I have no idea. Alright, sneak forward you guys. We need to secure this road. Of course, one thing that's definitely not the same as it was in uh, Normandy is the fact that these guys have um, the um, advantage of being together, which was obviously not something going on at this point. Alright, I'm going to move everyone into these buildings for the time being. There we go. Okay. Alright. I want you guys to move up. You guys... Uh, okay. Well, we've got that covered. Sneak down here. Go. Sneak down here. I really have no clue. Okay. The Tala Green. Okay. You're in position. Some guys are in position. Alright, we've got one uh, flare, it looks like. Illumination is now available. That's cool. We may need that at some point. Okay, you guys. Get down here. And these guys are going to do the same. Cover themselves up up there. And the machine gun team. We're going to have to put you up here. Go. Okay, everyone's on the move now. That's not necessarily a good thing, mind you. Alright. As long as the Germans don't know we're here, we can use these buildings and everything else to our advantage. Excellent. Alright. Some of these guys have redeployed. You know, sneaking across a field. Okay, who is in position? Okay, those guys are great. Put them guys back on ambush. For the time being. Okay, they're crawling across the road there. Now this field here has me worried. <laughs> but uh, it's okay. We can put like uh, guys in there if it's uh, if if they think it's safe. So, all right, move up here and don't don't make a make a noise, please. Alright. Okay, th that team is redeployed. Great. Alright, that rifle team. Sneak. I want you guys to be our scout on this flank. Go. I want this field under my control. As best, of as best we can. Alright, so these crossroads, they're, they're gonna be mine at some point. And I have a feeling that the Germans are going to be in this three-story building here in Saint-Germain. 
I'd be very surprised if they weren't. This is a little wall here. We may consider going there. Having a look from there. Uh, it's probably the best we can do at this point. Alright. I want you guys down here. And I want you guys down here. And it's just open field here. That's just it's gonna get us killed. Um okay the rifle team. Let's see if we can oh let's see if we can make a sort of pass here in here, like this. Hopefully that won't get us killed. <laughs> this open field here, I don't like that one bit. I really don't. Okay, our rifle team is up there. Rif other rifle team is up there. 30 caliber is coming, going exactly where I want it. Okay, all right. Are we clear? We've cleared our first flag, so that's good news. That's gonna draw the Germans, I'm afraid. Okay, the platoon headquarters. Yep. Get back into the tree line. An ambush. Oh god, here they go. The Germans have surmised that something is amiss. Uh oh, they've seen us now. Alright, let's just put up a defensive parameter here. There we go. If anyone messes with us, we'll be ready. There we go. Defend. A little defensive screen there. You guys defend to the south there. In case Germans come through there. We'll simply have to move around. That's that's we have no choice now. Okay. All right. Sneak behind that little thing. You guys are gonna sneak here. Keep sneaky. Go. Go. Alright, got a rifle team crossing there. I don't know if that's a good idea, but we're going to have to wait and see. And we've got movement somewhere here in this. Okay, you guys hide. You're going to be our spotters for the uh, artillery. I wonder if I use my flare now, if I'm going to see a lot of Germans. I have a feeling we might. We only have eight minutes left to grab our objectives, so that's a little unfortunate. All right. Okay, these guys are in position apparently. Get in pos defensive positions there. So I want you to cover these guys as they crawl up to this area here. Now, generally speaking, the AI will not screw you that much. Uh, okay, that rifle team over here. What? They've spotted an enemy down the road? Really? Aha. Uh -huh. Really? Well, that's new. I'm just going to have to move my defenses a little bit. And perhaps sneak these guys back up here put these guys on the fence so that they can can they spot anyone down here probably not no they can't okay well in that case sneak yourself to the other end of the road um, I think no wait go over there <laughs> even better 
I'm moving my officers back. I'm like, no way. <laughs> no, they, they know we're here now. That's a problem. That's a bit of an issue. Okay, so these guys now are in position. Okay, somebody has been spotted there. We're seeing people move into this house. Let's see if we can drop a few on them. No, it's not doing anything. Oh, good. Alright, that killed one of them. That must have broken their morale. Wow. Okay, guys, no, 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 don't go on. No, do, don't move down there. Dumbasses. Move down there. Do as you're told. Alright, ambush. Ambush. Anyone coming down there, shoot them. That's your orders. Right, they can see down the road, so that's super. I guess I'll put them on ambush. If they have that short distance to fire, so they're not going to be very effective. Let's face it. Um, Oh, wow. No, fire at them. By all means, fire at them. Fire. Yeah, I dare you. Come down. Come down with some... Ah, he's moving down the road with on foot. And yeah, I gotta be sorry they did that. Okay, these guys are making it to the flag, so that's good news. Alright. Several points of contact now. flank now. And they've taken cover here for here. And we've just killed a few of them. <laughs> Alright. Start shooting your target there. Suppress them, come on, suppress them. All right, we're out of ammo for those, that's fine. All right, 
sneak up on their flank here if you can try and surround the town there we go that 30 cal is going to stay behind for the time being all right move in here go move in here go defend Oh, like this. Come on, give them some fire on the flank. Can you see them in any way? I can't. Okay, well. Try and flank them, boys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Move up. Move up now. There we go. Okay. Well, that was the first battle. Ha! Huh. That's awesome. Um, well, we've managed to make, make some somewhat of a foothold for ourselves. So, a uh, major German victory, of course. But still, yeah, we got it. We're, we're getting there. We are definitely getting there. We're getting towards the town. We have a little bit of a, a corner of the map. So, that's good news. Um let's look at our uh, let's look at our details here because no not the campaign de the details. There we go. Um okay, so wow, okay, we suffered quite a few losses, but that was to be expected. Uh two infantry were killed and another four including two officers were incapacitated. We killed one infantry and incapacitated three of the enemy. So this was not a very good round for me. But uh yeah. That the way it's the way it is. Just uh, that's how it goes. S um, the first blood has been shed on the Allied and German side. Anyway, stay tuned. I will be bringing you new episodes of this game in the upcoming weeks. I plan to uh, do a couple of updates each week, and uh, I hope you enjoy the series. And um, see you next time. So that's it for me. Signing off. Bye bye.